Hey guys, another video from uh, DCS Wolfpack. If you guys are interested in uh, some Arma play, we're not incorporating Arma 3 yet, but we are uh, using Arma 2 at the moment and for the foreseeable future uh, until we get some. We do simulate uh, SEAL Team DevGrew, so until we get some DevGrew type units and assets in the uh, final release in the fall, um, we won't be transitioning just yet. So there's plenty of time for Arma 2. Uh, all you need to join us is the uh, combined operations or oper uh, arrowhead and the original Arma. Uh, and we're, we're doing a uh, dev group campaign right now. We're doing workups uh, to, to train up to deploy. It's uh, pretty exciting. I think you have a good time. Check out our, our website, www.dcswolfpack.org. Hope you enjoy these videos, guys. So I uh, want to do a review that n nobody has really done yet, and that's the helicopter physics and truck physics. I'm sure videos will come, but um, right off the bat, when I jumped into the uh, helicopters, it reminded me of take on helicopters. I don't have the full version. I just have the demo, but the physics from the take on helicopters demo, it's exactly what I'm experiencing here. And I'm um, kind of a long-term FSX pilot. Uh, helicopter pilot and it the physics in this actually trumps the physics in FSX I hope you guys can hear me over the noise here like there's even a little mp3 player down there how cool is that so to my knowledge these instruments do work um, not the temperatures and oil pressure or anything but the altimeter the uh, attitude indicator the airspeed RPM you see it's spinning up there and uh, this stuff works so it's pretty awesome uh, you also got a little temperature gauge, which I, I think might be accurate, and another compass. So, uh, so far, the physics are insane. I mean, uh, I told a buddy of mine, I feel like I've purchased a military sim, a uh, high fidelity military sim, and a high fidelity, fidelity uh, helicopter sim because the physics are that good. It's just incredibly fun to fly these things and incredibly realistic. I'll show you some of the things that I'm talking about. So we'll do a lift off here and no problem at all here. I'm kind of in a hover and you can feel the twitchiness of the helicopter. It's an unstable platform so it should feel twitchy and I'm not really having a problem kind of keeping it here. I mean I, I, I can get it to go where I want it to and uh, it's just different. It's hard to describe. Um, I'll move forward here and you just feel the wind kind of the air around the helicopter uh, interacting with it and let's say I want to do a quick hop up to this building uh, I'm not that great at it but uh, as you can see you kind of stick to platforms and what I mean by that is you just feel like contact you you make contact with the surface okay um, and what this does is for all you helicopter pilots, it really gives you a sensation of really flying. Now, I'll do a hard landing here, and you'll see the uh, aircraft just stick to the ground like you would. Like, if these skids kind of, boom, you see just the abruptness of that. If these skids really hit the ground at that speed, and you're hitting concrete, and it's uneven and cracked, you're probably going to do that. Now, if you're on the grass, you'll probably slide a little bit or on some smooth surface. So, the helicopter physics are incredible. Um, I just love it. I, I would pay, uh, you know, a hundred dollars probably for a helicopter sim of this fidelity. And controllability, I mean, you just, you can just do what you want. Um, you have so much more control over the helicopter and this sim, and it's a gigantic upgrade. It's a, it's an insane upgrade to the helicopter physics. So I'll land it, and then we'll jump in the truck and uh, show you some of that which is pretty awesome and I'll try to put it back in the same spot that I uh, took off from so right here I mean you just you do get into ground effects so you feel the aircraft kinda hovering and uh, interacting with the ground um, right here and stick. Love that. Love that feature. Okay, so we'll jump in the truck. And the sounds are really, really good as well. So here's a nice just uh, truck. <laughs> Somebody's 
put their uh, call sign on there, I guess. And check it out. Look at this interior. This is like a 2030, you know, truck. Check out the dials. I mean, this stuff actually works. And look at the gloves. Tactical gloves. Pretty awesome. So this is not just your everyday driving, and I'll show you. Um, I also feel like I've purchased a driving simulator because look at the acceleration time on this. You hear the gears shifting. And check it out. This is tactical driving. You really feel like you're in control. Now, even if you're into, like, driving sims, this is really good. Check it this out. Look at the car uh, suspension absorbing the impact. You can hear the wheels screeching. I mean, it's just really good. Check out the rear view mirror that actually works. And side view mirrors, too. So if you're getting chased, you got some uh, rear rear view capability. Um, it's just great. The animations are, are modern. Uh, you know, see him adjusting his hands and he's got some cool gloves on. So, all in all, you know, for, for this being a military simulator and you get just amazing uh, driving physics and amazing helicopter physics, I can't tell you what a deal that is, what valley that is. You know, I'm into DCS, and we play DCS uh, in our organization at DCS Wolfpack, and and they're definitely top game. Uh, but I'm telling you, some of this stuff with the new physics engine in this, it's it really uh, I don't want to say compares. I mean, I know it's the arm is not on the same level as far as flight uh, dynamics or systems, or excuse me, flight systems, but. The physics are definitely here. This is a enormous upgrade from previous Armas. All of the uh, gripes and complaints that the Army community has had about proper acceleration times and uh, helicopter physics and dynamics, I, I think those are going to go away. Um, it's just great. So check it out. Check out our website, www.dcswolfpack.org. Uh, again, we're not transitioning to Arma for probably a long time, but uh, we are into Arma 2 and we do simulate uh, SEAL Team Devgur and do some of their awesome missions. So, hope you enjoy these videos, and I'll see you next time.